What's going on, people? It's your boy Nando, and you know what it is. It's the Pound for Pound Boxing Show. Got a very special guest today. Female boxer, super bantamweight boxer, Carly Skelly, as she prepares to face Amy Timlin in a rematch on February the 20th on the Avenesian uh, Josh Kelly on the card for the uh, vacant Commonwealth super bantamweight title, which is waiting for Carly to come on now. We're going to talk to her about the first fight. Obviously, this up and coming fight and a lot more. You're in for a treat, guys. Remember, this is an association of Dirty South Boxing. Let's try and get... How are you doing, Carly? I'm good, thank you. Yeah. yeah, not bad, thanks. Thanks for taking your time to speak to me again today. No, no, no problem. It's crazy to think that it's been over four months since we last spoke and four months since the first fight. I know, it's flown by. How's life been since that night? You made your Sky Sports, your matchroom debut. How, how did it feel? How's life been since then? Um, it, yeah, it was the, the whole experience, the first time around was amazing. Um, and to be honest, literally since then, I've carried on training and just kept busy. And then it was Christmas, so it's all come by so quickly, so... To be told, you know, you're fighting again. And it was like five weeks, I think. And this five weeks has just gone so quick. Amazing. How how do you feel about this fight compared to how you were feeling before the first fight? Um, yeah, very, very excited. Um, I've kind of like, know this time what to expect. Um, we've, we've done what we've done in training and changed things up a little bit. So feeling very excited um, and just raring to go now. Let's talk about the first fight. Um, obviously, when it first got announced, before it got announced uh, that it was going to be on Sky Sports, it was going to be behind closed doors in a small, small venue. Um, it got cancelled, and then all of a sudden, it's on the Chisora music undercards. And then um, coming into the fight, obviously, I think it was more because she had a reputation of being a good fighter, and I think she was she had the backing of... Um, coaches like David Coldwell um, and also she was sparring people like Natasha Jonas. Pundits before the fight on Sky were kind of making her the favourite and then coming into the fight, it was a great fight and then afterwards I remember watching the pundits and the commentary and saying that oh, I think Carly Skelly won this fight, maybe she was up by one. Looking back at that fight, do you believe you nicked it? Uh, yeah, I think I'd done more than nicked it. I thought I'd won by um, at least two rounds, if not more. Um, definitely done enough to win it. But obviously, like you say, she was not particularly the matchroom girl, but she was Dave Caldwell's girl. Um, she was the whole week before it. It was all about Amy. Um, she had a bit more maybe recognition and stuff. And homework hadn't been done before. If they weren't expecting what they got. Um, but yeah. A, a draw just gives the girl just that other chance to, to redo it again. But I'm not going to let that happen this time, man. I'll be bringing that belt to him. What What did you think of Amy's performance? Did you did she live up to the expectation that the, what her reputation brought coming into the fight? No, she said like she'd love to tear up and love to fight, and I didn't feel like she'd give me that. Um, so yeah, I was expecting more of a fight from her. Um, whether she'll give me that this time now, now I don't know. I don't know if that's something she did seem quite disappointed with the performance. Um, afterwards, she she seemed quite deflated. Whether she's she's going to work on that and come and give me that, um, I don't know. I don't know what she's going to bring. I don't know what more she's got in a locker. But if that's what she wants, she's gonna she's gonna walk into my kind of fight again. So I can't see how she can she can change anything in her advantage. A few weeks ago, um, we interviewed Lyndon Arthur. Uh, we were talking about the fight against um, Anthony Yard. I asked him a question and he said, um, he said something very interesting. And I was wondering if you went through this as well. He said that despite looking at the fight afterwards and he was jabbing him in the face for 11, 11 rounds straight and it was obvious who won the fight, he forgot about that when the fight was over. And he didn't, he was, because he was in that phase, you forget about that and you kind of, unless it's clearly obvious and it's a one-sided fight, afterwards he didn't know if he had won or not. 
mm. after the fight was over and you was waiting for David Damiani to get the uh, scorecards from the judges and make that announcement, how did you feel? Did you think, yeah, I got this? Yeah, I, I knew I'd won it. Um, throughout the rounds, I knew I'd won it. And then going back to my corner, I felt that confidence. And I think you could see in my face that I, I thought I'd won it. Um, and it was only after it was taking quite a while with the decision. And obviously, you know, you watch boxing a lot. And the longer they take, you, you do sort it out, like, you know, what's going on. Um, so I was thinking, you know, come on, I've, I've done it. Surely they can't give it any other decision. So when they said a draw, not that I was relieved, but for a little split second, I thought, you know what, at least I've got that chance to redo it again. Yeah, um, 100%. You know, a, a draw for, for a home fighter. It is enough to tell me what what the decision was deep down. Did you manage to speak to anyone afterwards, the likes of Eddie Hearn or anyone um, that's part of Sky, that maybe did did they agree with you in a sense of disagree with the judges? Um, not really. No, Eddie came over. Um, Dave Caldwell and Tony Bell. You were all like saying like that. You know that was a cracking performance from you both. You um, both girls. So you'll definitely get you back on for the rematch and stuff. That was kind of the only thing we got. Um, but, yeah, I think, I think deep down, you, you, you know, so they, they know a heart. You, if, you, if you watch boxing enough and you've watched that fight properly and you've re-watched it, I don't know how you can say anyone else won or it, or it was a draw, do you know what I mean? How's, how's training this time? Are you, is it the same uh, game plan or are we going to see a different Carly Skelly in this fight? Um, yeah, we've been working on we've been, we have been working on things. We've we've changed a few things up in training. Um, I'm not going to give too much away, but yeah, you're going to see an explosive um, performance from me on the twentieth. Obviously, you don't want to give anything away, but in your opinion, looking back at the first fight and you and a lot of um, the pundits and the com even the commentators said that you know you won this fight clearly. Right. Do you believe coming into the second fight you have to stop her? Um, I feel coming into this fight, I'm coming in against Damien Judges, maybe rather than just me and her. There's a little bit more to prove. Um, but I'm more than capable of doing that, and I will do that. Um, yeah, I think that's something that's got to be um, possibly like expected. Just just that little bit more. I can't just go in and get a win. I've got to go in and out win, out, out win it and stop her. Um, and I'm more than capable of doing that. Obviously, because of the pandemic, um, I don't know if this fight was delayed or not, but I, I don't know if you saw the interview. I interviewed Amy after the fight. I think it was like three weeks after the fight um, or maybe a month. I'm not sure the time frame. And um, I asked her, I said, is there going to be a rematch? And she, she had an smi uh, innocent smile, gave it all away, and it was like, yes. It's done, it's, it's, it's agreed, but I can't give the date away or when. And that was, I think, November time. Was there any chance that this fight was going to be on the Saunders-Murray card, on the AJ Pugh level, maybe the white Povetkin card that was in, meant to be in January? Or was it always the plan to, for it to be on a card now in, in, around February? So for me, I've never been told any date. I actually, I think you maybe tagged me in that interview. So I'd seen like a short clip of it. Um, and I don't know whether they knew a little bit more. They were a bit more aware of dates before me. Whether that's been something to give them that little bit of an edge to, to do a little bit more and kind of spring it on me. But since that fight, I was straight in the gym. Um, I was actually over um, in Denmark afterwards. I got an opportunity to go and spar um, the IBF world champion, um, Featherweight. She, um, they'd seen me fight and she was fighting a southpaw. So for me, it didn't end. I carried on training and got some great opportunities. Um, and a little bit, little bit of me thinks maybe, you know, they might have known the date and you just need that little bit more of an edge just to give that bit more of a confidence boost because I think I took a lot of that away from her on the night. Um, but no, man, just being non-stop non-stop training and that confidence is just growing and growing for me amazing apart from sparring um the what did you say ibf world champion featherweight yeah was it, have you sparred any other names um i sm sparred um, marcel braithwaite quite a lot okay 
yeah. Um, and then just like a lot of local girls um, who were up at like GB in England and stuff. There's there's been like a lot. There's a lot of um, girls I've sparred. Um, so yeah, it's going well. Amazing. There was a comment earlier from our sponsor. We have the same sponsor, Dirty South. She said she's going to bring the belt home. Um, tell us about Dirty South. You you recently received some gear from them, the gloves as well. How how good is this sponsor? How good is the gloves? So they've been amazing. So they've um, they've sent me like loads. They've um, sent me all like clothing, equipment, and gloves. I'm waiting for a few more bits to come, like head guards and stuff. Um, and they're amazing. The gloves, absolutely gorgeous. Like the colours, amazing. They match all my kits and the quality, real leather. It, they, they've been really good. I've been wearing them from the past um, few spas, um, and as as well, like people getting in touch. Like it's it's quite mad. Like sponsors are a massive thing and when I've started off boxing like I've been asking people for sponsors because it is needed it's hard without it and this time around I've had a lot of people saying we'd love to sponsor you so nice. it, it's been amazing because obviously I'm training and I'm doing everything and obviously I've got a family at home and stuff so I haven't had to go out and look for extra sponsors it, it's all come towards me so it's made me feel really confident you know that people have got belief in me yeah, and I'm just absolutely made up, and the support like means the world to me. So thank you, Dirty South, and all you brothers out there. Amazing. Would you recommend it to anyone to contact Dirty South and get some gift? Hundred percent. The gloves, are absolutely, like the comfiest gloves to spar in. Amazing. Definitely. Um, let's talk about. There's another fight that's happening because um, naturally you're a bantamweight, aren't you? Yeah. So I. I'm sure, obviously not looking past Amy, but are you keeping kind of an eye on the Rachel Ball and Courtney fight as well? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, um, the 20th of February is the main priority, but you, we are aware of other girls that are out there. And domestically, yeah. um, England, it, it's absolutely amazing. At the minute with the females, there's a lot going on at the similar weight, bantamweight, super bantamweight. Um, so, yeah, winner of that fight... Um, I would definitely be wanting to, to go for that in my next fight. Are you... I've, I've, I've seen a few comments online. Um, people are very surprised that Shannon Courtney straight away got a title shot. Coming from a loss of Rachel Ball, she went and fought a flyweight afterwards and then straight away got a title shot ahead of Ebony Bridges. Are you surprised that this fight is happening or did you expect that this rematch was happening and, and for a world title as well? To be honest, I kind of thought it was going to going to come about anyway. Um, I thought their first fight was actually very close. Um, so I'm glad that they've got the opportunity to get the rematch. Because I do always think, um, you know, if it is a very close one, and I know a lot of people were saying they thought Shannon had won, and a lot of people agreed with the Rachel. I think those kinds of fights that are really close, it's always good to see them again, just to to make it clear in, in, in a lot of people's eyes, you we were a little bit unsure. Um it's quite, it's quite mad that they're fighting for these like world titles so early on, but it's, it's really hard at the same time because there isn't as many women out there and the current situation we're in at the minute with the travelling and all things like that, it, it's quite hard. So, but yeah, it's, it's amazing that we're getting these opportunities. 100%. Do you have a prediction for this fight? Do you know what? I, I can't call it. Like, there's always somebody that you think and... I, I'll be honest, I thought maybe Shannon might have slightly nicked the first one, but when they give it to Rachel, I was like, but you know what, I can see it. I thought it was that close, it was really hard to call. But I don't know, I, I, I'm really, really torn on it. I'm, I'm excited to see it, really, yeah, really excited to see it, to be honest. It'll be a good fight. If, you, if Shannon wins, do you believe eventually we'll get the truth? What was that, sorry? If Shannon wins, do you think eventually in the future we will see a trilogy between these two? Um, I think if she wins clear right, I think that'll be that. I don't. I wouldn't like to keep seeing it over and over again. I'd like to go and see people fight other people out there. Um, obviously, if it was a really close one again, it, it then leaves that uncertainty there. So you'd like to see a little bit more. But you know, if we get a clear winner, then it's 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 obvious who's won it. Then I think that should be that. Is that a hint that maybe Carly Skelly will like Shannon to win and and what and fight her for the world title eventually in the future? 
I would definitely like to um, to have that fight. I think a while ago, um, Shannon Courtney, maybe last year or something, made a comment. She'd love to fight a girl from Liverpool because Liverpool's a fighting city. And I think a lot of my friends retweeted my name, but we didn't hear nothing back. So right, okay. he's looking for a Liverpool girl. There's one here waiting for her. <clears throat> Well, hopefully she can get that fight and she can, yeah, her dream will come true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but be careful what you wish for. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, my colleague Jermaine, who's part of um, Pound for Pound as well, he's saying, do you want to see Harper versus Jonas too then? 100%. That is that is a fight that must happen. Yeah. Um, 100% think, um, you know, tap the both of them, that are both amazing to the sport, amazing women, great boxers. But I do think Tasha Jonas won that fight. Um, and I think it needs it needs to happen. I don't know whether we're going to get the opportunity, opportunity to see it again because it's kind of like the longer it goes, the less likely it's going to happen. And, you know, it's looking further and further away from happening the more time's going on. But yeah. it's, it's like that I think everybody wants to see. It's a shame because at the moment in that division, they're just talking about the the four-way tournament, which is uh, Terry Harper, Choi, Hamaduchi, and Mayor. So um, I I've got a feeling that whoever wins out of Harper and Choi will face the, the win of the other two. Not to, not to, you never know what can happen in boxing, but it looks like it's going to be probably a unification between Mayor and, uh, and Terry Harper. So uh, hopefully the winner of that fight can go with, uh, fight Jonas, but Jonas deserves a title shot regardless. She was calling out Choi for a while after the um, yeah. the Harper fight. Eddie Hearn signed her. And then we thought, okay, she's going to get her title opportunity. Maybe she can win that title and bring it to unify against Terry Harper. But it looks like Terry Harper is going to fight Troy next. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a shame. It's all the fans are definitely, definitely wanting it. Um, it's like sometimes you've got to give the fans what they want. And it doesn't always happen, though, unfortunately. Exactly. There's one more name I want to bring up. Um, she actually not called not called you guys out, but she mentioned your fight. Is a is a person that you fought in the amateurs, Lisa Whitesides. Yeah. And um, she she's making her comeback. She obviously just had a family. She's making her comeback, and she said that she keeping an eye on this fight because she would like to fight the winner. Obviously, again, not looking past Amy, win or lose anyway. Would you welcome a rematch with Lisa in the future? I think from the amateurs, there's, um, there's, there's definitely a little bit of unfinished business there. I actually boxed Lisa, I think, on my 10th fight um, in the ABA final. Yeah. Um, I think she's had 100 and odd fights at this time. And let's just say a lot of people, again, disagreed with the decision there. Um, so there's another fight that I'm more than confident I'd um, be getting the decision on at this time. But you know, she's been out um, for, for now. I've just got my eyes on Amy and, and what's going on right now, like Shannon, Rachel. I think it's a fight that it can easily be made, um, only for the fact that she's with Sam Jones. Sam Jones is connected, obviously, with Matchroom as well. Um, yeah. Obviously, if you beat um, Amy, I'm sure that opens opportunities for yourself with Matchroom and big, big uh, promotions as well. So I think it's a easy fight that, can be made after the, the Timlin fight. Yeah. And that's it. I'm always wanting to fight. I'm never going to shy away from any fights. If anyone wants it, you know, I'm always there. I'm always game for it, Sam. <clears throat> I, want your, I want to ask you a question as well. Um, this week, I, well, last week, actually, I interviewed um, Heather Hardy. And obviously, she is known as the, the voice of, box, of women's boxing. Um, equality, equality in women's boxing, equal pay, and everything. Yeah. Obviously, in 2016, she made history. First female to be on pay per view in the last 20 years. The first time in 20 years. Former <laughs> world. Champion. And she made a comment that it's it's great that women's boxing is at a high at the moment. Obviously, last year we had so many events, especially the Katie Taylor one that had. Obviously, Kay Taylor is the, ma the main event. And then we had, I think it was two or three world title, um, women's world title fights in the undercard. So it was a good card. Yeah. And um, she believes, obviously, that's great. But it's not the same until women get equal pay to men. 
do you do you believe that he's right with that or is it more of a case that it needs to be the, the right fight to bring in the right crowd um i think the pay is definitely like if there's there's like a big gap in between it um so yeah. i think it does need to be even out i wouldn't say it needs to be the same you've got to take into consideration the men do box more rounds more minutes so all that comes into it they may be a box more people to build up for these like world titles girls can get to this level a lot quick because there's a lot not as many girls out there um but the scale of how different it is i think is is something that needs to 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 build closer to together definitely um it's getting better i think like we're on more shows and it's definitely definitely improving and Eddie Hearn's done amazing for women's box in the past, um, especially like it, it's it's mad, like COVID for me, I thought could have been really rocky for my boxing career. It's actually been amazing. I've I've had a really good time. So I'm really lucky and really grateful for how it's gone. Um, and I think it'll keep getting better and better. And I do feel like, you know, as women are evolving, that, that it needs to maybe even out a little bit. But I, I see that maybe not equal because of the difference in rounds and minutes and stuff. But there's too much of a gap there, and I don't, I don't particularly agree with that. She, I agree. Eddie Hearn has done has done amazing things at women's box. He's given so many people the opportunities, especially during these hard times as well. Um, yeah. She had some harsh words. Obviously, she she revealed on on my interview and many that she got offered twenty thousand dollars to yeah. fight two world yeah. champions. I actually was. Um, Look, that's that's obviously something between them. Um, I, I interviewed Natasha Jonas, and she revealed the same thing. Really, she she got offered, I think, something like five grand more to fight her party as well. So, look, at the end of the day, nothing to do with me. Obviously, the money is between the promoters and the fighters, but I won't take nothing away from Eddie that he's done an amazing job for women's boxing and. You know he's making history with that, and I truly believe that the way the way it's going forward with Eddie Hearn, we're going to see probably a stadium fight in the future with women's boxing, and I would love to see it be an all women's car at a stadium, hopefully yeah. with a crowd. Yeah, it'd be amazing to see, um, but obviously again, like it'd be nice for us to get the 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 money that we we deserve for it because. Yeah. The end of the day, you mightn't do like I say. The difference is in like we're not doing the three minute rounds, we're not doing the twelve, but we're still getting punched with them. He sounds gloves, them tiny little gloves, no head guards. You, you are putting yourself on that line, so it, it has got to be worth it. Like at the end of the day, boxers, I think we're all the same. We love to fight, so half the time without the right team around you, you just get in with stupid decisions and stupid amounts because you just want to get in and fight. That's what you're training every day for, and it's what you want for. When you look at it at the end of it, you you are taking them shots and they've had guards, so you've yeah. you've got to have that some sort of like equal pay. Hundred percent, and then obviously the sacrifice you're putting your body through, your mind not seeing your plan, so it, it all comes together. So you know the, the equal pay to be there. Obviously, some of the some of the pay is ridiculous. What some of the fighters are getting, you know, the fifty, the hundred million, but. It needs to be fair, at least, especially for the sacrifices that the women are making to make yeah, these fights. Yeah. Especially the ones that are abroad, to the ones that have to come to the UK, they they should get a decent pay because mm -hmm. of the fact they they're away from their family, have to travel here. So, yeah, yeah, it's um, it's quite difficult, isn't it? Like the pay in boxing, it's not like what everyone thinks. And I think they think like because you're on big shows, do you know what? You must be making a fortune, and it it's not the case. And it is. It's so much graft, so much hard work goes into it and training, dieting and missing out on so much family time. Yeah. Um, let's, fingers crossed that'll be the next thing that'll get a little bit better in, in um, women's boxing. 100%. Carly, before I let you go, um, two things actually, because I'm going to make a nice video when the fight gets announced because I'm asking every one of my guests this. Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury. Prediction and how is the fight going to end? Oh, for me, I'm going to go with Tyson Fury. Um, I'm going to go with the distance. Yeah, I think. I think in the past I've always thought um, Fury, but I'll be honest, 
Auntie Joshua's last fight, I think after he got beat by Ruiz, he's come back a different fighter. I think he lost like a lot of his bulk and his movement is unbelievable. So it, it could go different to what I thought in the past. Um, I think since that loss, he, he, he's obviously learned a lot from that. Um, and I've really enjoyed watching him since then. I think his movements, I've seen a lot more from him. But I do have to, I've always been a big Fury fan and I'm going to go with Fury on points. Okay. Hopefully, by the time the fight gets made, I interview one person that <laughs> picked Anthony Joshua. <laughs> Everyone's picked Fury. So, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I, I need to find someone to pick uh, Joshua at yeah, least. I love the both of them. They're both great both great men and um, yeah they're both brilliant to watch but let's please let's get this fight happening though I've been waiting 100%. for so long it needs to happen it's like the Tashin and Jonas um, Teddy Harper one so many people talk about it and, and then it doesn't happen and this is another one that people have been talking about for so long so yeah. I get to see it in the very near future 100% and if it gets made I think people need to stop complaining whether it's gonna where it's gonna be because we can't go to it anyway so yeah. even if it's on the moon, let it happen because at the end of the day, we can't go watch it in the stadium anyway. So, no, you know no. what? People complain that it's in the Middle East. Listen, the time difference isn't that difference from the UK. You're going to get a crowd in the Middle East. It's a win-win for everyone. As long as we get to watch it, it's okay. going to cost us 50 quid. The, the telly rubbish at the minute. There's barely been anything on to watch. The fact that we've got a bit of boxing going on again. And That's it. Have that at some point this year as well. That's it. Exactly. Yeah. Carly, one more question I ask all my fighters this. Um, some answer it, some don't. Is it going to go the distance? Carly Skelly, Amy Timlin too? No, we're not going the distance. That belt's coming home nice and early with me. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Carly, again, thank you so much for coming on and taking your time to speak to me today. It's always a pleasure. I hope you can bring that belt home to uh, Team Dirty South for our sponsor's sake. And I wish both you and Amy... The best of luck that night and may the best person win that night. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me on again as well. I've enjoyed it. Um, Anytime. Good luck with anything, everything, sorry, and we'll speak. Um, hopefully we can speak again after the fight. Yeah, definitely. I'll bring the belt with me to show you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Take care. Good luck. Stay safe. Oh, thank you, Nando. See you soon. Bye-bye.